everybody. Today we're going over the Bravo Company PKMR or Polymer KMR rail. So this one here is for a middle length rifle. They also make them for the carbine length rifles. I do not have a carbine length one at this point. And uh, speaking of this point, right now when I record this video, it is August 26, 2016. And these haven't actually hit the market yet. So this is sort of a pre-release that I've actually had since May and been using. And uh, right now when I'm releasing this video, they're either coming out or on the market right now. So one of the two is happening. So one of the things that you guys may know or may not know um, is that these are gonna be priced extremely well, under $40 retail from what I've uh, heard anyway. So we're gonna get into the details of these handguards, whether or not they're worth the $40 and how they sort of stack up against a couple competitive options. Attachment points on the handguard are going to be down here at the 6 o'clock position. Of note, the key mod slots do not come all the way to the rear of the handguard. And same thing up here at the 1 and the 11 o'clock position. Key mod slots up front, but they don't run all the way back. Now, I really don't see that as much of an issue because most folks who are holding their handguard are going to want to run their accessories, whether it be buttons or switches or something like that, um, up here with their thumbs. So that's a pretty good idea in my opinion. We have, do have the hand stop portion up front, which is nice uh, for two reasons. Number one, if you're running it on sort of a short barrel type of carbine or rifle, it prevents your hand from going forward. Additionally, if you're shooting a high volume of fire, your sling swivel gets pretty hot if you have a standard A2 uh, front sight post. Uh, I know that from experience, so it prevents you from going up there and burning yourself under long strings of fire, but you can see it has a nice fit together. Um, and the grip on the sides here on both the three and nine o'clock position is pretty nice. For those of you guys that have experience with the Bravo Company uh, grips, the AR grips, feels very similar to that. It's not abrasive, but definitely gives you a good purchase. Or if you're just running it slick, it's gonna give you a nice little place to rest your thumb and sort of like a memory pad on some pistols out there. It is a two-piece design, removes as simple as that. Now on the uh, bottom, we do have the aluminum heat shield, as you would expect to prevent uh, both your hands from getting too warm and from the actual polymer from melting under uh, again high round count firing. You can see it does have a black finish on the outside to prevent any sort of glare or something like that. But on the inside, it has the normal aluminum finish that you're used to. One thing that really uh, differentiates this from any other products out there on the market, at least that I know of, is that if you look at the key mod slots, both at the 1 and 11 o'clock position as well as underneath this uh, heat guard, it has steel inserts in there. So uh, if you guys are members of forums or have read anything that Magpul posts, one thing they said they didn't like about key mod was how it worked with polymer uh, and it parts would rip off under tension and stuff like that. So Bravo Company, I'm sure they found the same thing in their R&D and decided to put steel inserts all the way in there to reinforce it to make it stronger. So when you're running it hard, you're not going to risk your accessories coming off. So that's really a pretty cool thing. And uh, I think, at least as far as I know, the only Keymark polymer handguard out there on the market that has that feature. One thing I know the AR crowd is going to be very concerned with is going to be weight. So this is just a basic carbine length uh, aluminum heat shielded handguard set. And you can see it comes in right at 5.9 ounces. I don't have a midlife one. I apologize for that. But it coming in just under 6 ounces with that set. Set that off to the side. And here we have, again, a carbine length. I apologize. It's all I have. I don't have a mid-length one. Of the uh, Magpul handguards, uh, this one comes in at 6.7 ounces. And if we move over to the uh, PKMR, you can see this is a mid-length, so it's going to be a little bit heavier than the carbine length ones. And again, it's coming in right at 6.7 ounces, so very lightweight, yet still giving you that rigidity with the steel enhancements as well as the aluminum heat guard shield. Installing these handguards is much easier when you're not doing it with 8 inches of clearance underneath the camera, um, but it's pretty simple. It's standard AR stuff, so uh, what we're going to do is put this piece of polymer here on the front handguard up underneath the cap, and of note, we do have a triangle handguard cap here in this Mod Zero, so it will fit just fine. I'm going to put that up under there, kind of get them just started a little bit, and I'm going to pull back on the delta ring so that stays in place like that, and we're going to do the same here with our 
bottom portion, put this piece of polymer up underneath the triangle handguard cap. And again, much easier when you're not trying to do it on video. But we're gonna pull our delta ring down, line these up, and get them into place. And there you go. Once you get the handguard on the rifle, or in fact, even before, you can put any sort of accessories that you want to from the outside. So you don't have to have it disassembled to do that. So for instance, we have our uh, short vertical foregrip here from Bottle Company. It's a direct hemod attachment part. We're just gonna line this up, slide it forward to ensure that the lugs on the hemod system are in place. And we're gonna get our torque screw in there and just screw it down here and tighten it up. Nice and snug, and there you go. Attached just like that, so that's one of the beautiful parts of the key mod system. We hit most of the inherent features of the handguards. Let's talk about some sort of practical usage type features. Um, I fired several mag dumps through it. I think three mags, really quick succession with the suppressor mounted on there. And uh, the heat was fine. I was able to keep my hand in the firing position. Now that's a function, of course, of the polymer material, the cooling of the key mod slots themselves, and uh, of course, the aluminum heat shield in there. So in terms of that, it's holding up just fine, no melting, no plastic deformation or anything like that as you'd expect. Um, one thing to mention there in terms of mounting accessories that I found so far is due to the way the uh, rails or the key mod slots I should say are up there on the 1 and 11 o'clock position, certain light mounts aren't going to work well with the A2 front sight post because a lot of them are made for a 90 degree angle, um, but with these um, being sort of offset like that, some of them will have interference with the light. So just something I found there, of course, for instance, this one here, which is the uh, Bravo Company mount and uh, LZ flashlight works just fine, no issues. So you sort of have to play with the combination to see, uh, you know, see what works for you and works on your rifle the way you want it set up. But all in all, no issues. Everything's held in place, nothing coming out. Uh, it seems pretty stable overall for a drop-in handguard. With the weight of this and the price of this, I think BCM is going to have a winner on their hands. So we'll put a link down below in the video description where you guys can actually go and pick these up. But um, all in all, really good handguard. I'll probably get a carbine knife one for one of my carbines as well. And uh, you'll probably be seeing more of it here on the channel. If you guys have any questions about the handguard that I didn't cover in the video, by all means, post down below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always. But thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.